Good afternoon, Asperger's Legion. Welcome back to another video. It's just a little, tiny little quick one today. I just thought it would be worth coming on and giving you guys a little bit of an update because there's been a lot, a lot of things happening uh, these past two or three months and that's not considering the current global climate that we find ourselves in, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to say it. I've heard enough about it. Something dawned on me a couple of weeks ago and I realised that a large considerable amount of people who are on YouTube do not actually follow my social media and of course when I was going through the process of making the Asperger's Society documentary I basically stopped putting out videos. I, th I, th I think I might have posted a video just explaining all of that and so I'm going to get back into it. You may have already seen some of the other videos that I've put up. Um, I'm trying to get myself into the flow of it. When I started putting out those videos, I was not particularly in the best place mental health wise. So when, when, you, when you're on YouTube, you sort of feel that pressure to constantly churn out and put out videos. Um, it's something that definitely bothers me and one of the main things that coaches for YouTube and, and other video creators sort of highlight is consistency and putting videos out every at least out every week um, so I've been trying to do that on top of podcasting on top of doing things in my life <laughs> it's been it's been a bit tough and I've been going through a lot of bad spells of depression and anxiety and it's it's really been affecting me a lot in terms of sleep in terms of weight in terms of eating habits hygiene all of that kind of stuff it's been quite difficult for me now i'm not gonna say it's not like a it's not a sob story video it's just me coming on and chatting to you guys because i know that although i do put stuff out on instagram and, and facebook and twitter and stuff like that i know not everybody is on there and is up to date with it and sees it all the time so I just thought it would be worth coming on here and having a chat. As far as developments for the actual channel, I didn't get through to the shortlist for the National Diversity Awards and you know we, we did amazingly well with it like it far surpassed any sort of expectations that I had um, for the awards. So when the shortlist came out, it felt just a little bit more punchy, you know. Um, I think we got around 250 votes, which is stupendous. It's, absolutely, it's amazing. And I couldn't ask for, you know, better comments on my channel and the work that I do. It, it genuinely makes me feel good. The other people who have been shortlisted are like massively successful well-known people with like knighthoods and MBEs and OBEs and all that kind of stuff so it's definitely I think at the, at the stage in my sort of advocacy career and my media stuff it's not really attainable um, although we did get quite close close and we got I think shared by the National Diversity Awards a few times which boggles my mind Maybe it's just trying to stick up, showing, showing that they're sticking up for the little guy, even though they're not going to put me through. <laughs> showing it to the public. They're supporting these small people. I'm not small in, in physicality, but in reach. <laughs> the plan for the next few weeks is... I'm going to be putting out my podcast. I've got... It's scheduled for the next week. I've already produced it this week, which I'm quite pleased with myself because it's not really something that I do. I usually leave it to the last minute and then rush and stress to try and put it out on a Friday so that it can go out on a Saturday. Didn't do that this week, though. I managed to get it done. However, I have not produced a video this week, hence this video. <laughs> and um, I think for the next week, I will not be putting out a standard YouTube video, you know, like this kind of thing where I sit and talk to a camera. Um, so 
after that I'm going to start putting out videos and I've got two videos which I'm quite excited to get started off because I'm producing this series based on relationships and dating. Um, I think at some point my girlfriend's going to pitch in, be on the channel, you know, give her experience from a neurotypical angle. It's all very exciting stuff and um, just, from, just from looking at like the analytics and the metrics and stuff it seems anything to do with relationships and dating just seems to be like way up there with the podcast, with the YouTube videos, pretty much everything. This doesn't mean that it's going to be turning into the Asperger's Growth dating channel, but it does mean that maybe every couple of weeks I'll be churning out another video. It's something that I've researched quite a lot and have wrote about quite a lot and have a lot of experience with, so it's only natural that I try and pass on that information. So that's pretty much all from me. If you want to as I said, stay up to date with what I'm doing in my life, you know, what I'm doing in the media, what I'm doing for rec recreational stuff, just boring Thomas life stuff, then <laughs> there's a lot more than that, just, no, just, it, it's pretty cool, you know, do some posts, inspirational stuff, all that kind of jazz. Um, but yeah, like for the next couple of weeks, that'll be the main place to stay updated with the work that I'm doing. I've quite recently started um, working with a podcasting coach and they recommended that I not only sort of create like a, a poster and send it out to different companies and, and the BBC and stuff to try and see if they want my podcast you know, to be paid for it, which would be crazy. Um, <laughs> and there's other stuff like going for the independent documentary awards could be a possibility who knows with the current money that I have, I'll have to try and scrape it together just to try and keep up with it. But if it's a good investment, then I may consider doing it. My social media accounts are at Asperger's Growth for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Very easy to find. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on there if you haven't already seen it. So you can scroll down and have a look at the stories that I've made and the highlights if you want to. No worries if you don't, but this is the, I guess this is the reason why I put this video out. Just to, just to update you with things that I've been putting on my social media, but I haven't been on YouTube. Hope you guys are doing well, and as I said before, my inbox is always open. My email, aspergersgrowth at gmail.com, is always open if you want to send an email, send a chat. Um, I will be starting to work on the comments more, trying to respond to people a bit more because I've been a bit rubbish with that, and it used to be something that I did quite a lot. So I will attempt to um, pull up that deficit that I have. Uh, it's been an absolutely sweltering, hot, horrible day today. Um, it's been nice and sunny. It's been good to go out for a walk, a walk and, you know, just get some ice cream and stuff. But I'm absolutely sweating my ass off. It's probably, that's too much information, but I've just had a shower. I'm all fresh. Much love. Stay happy. Stay hydrated. And um, I'll see you in another video in the future. Check out the podcast, by the way. See you later. What's that noise? Squeaky clean. <laughs>